Okay, so in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of using GIMP uh, for your um, graphical editing. Um, it's kind of similar to Photoshop. Um, it has most of the same features as Photoshop. Um, now, obviously all the things that I'm going to go through in this are possible with Photoshop. Um, so feel free to uh, uh, to do it in Photoshop if you want, but obviously the tool set is going to look slightly different. Okay, so um, what we're going to go through is we're going to look at creating a document, uh, setting it to the uh, desired dimensions, um, we're going to add some guides, we're going to move uh, the guides around, we're going to remove the guides so that you know uh, where things should go on your uh, on your document. We'll look at the concept of layers um, and then we will have a look at um, the various different paintbrushes and uh, how to change your colours and stuff like that. So super basic stuff. Um, so let's get on with it. You can see at the moment I've already got a um, an image open. When you first open GIMP uh, you probably won't see something like this. You'll just see a big dark grey um, spot in the uh, in, in the middle and at the side here are all of your brushes if you move your mouse over them briefly you will see a tooltip that tells you what they do uh, so you've got various selection options here you've got a magic wand uh, there as well which you're probably familiar with um, you've got various tools to move things around uh, tools to warp and deform things that are on your um, uh, on your canvas and then we've got things like uh, pencils, paintbrushes, erasers um, and so on. Okay, um, so first things first, let's actually create an image. It's super easy. Go to File and then go to New. Now here's the thing. Uh, a lot of the time when you're creating images you will be working in pixels but sometimes you need to know um, how big it's going to be when it's printed out. So see here where it says PX, if you click on that drop down, you can set it to all sorts of um, different measurements. Um, what I'm going to be doing is creating a, a CD uh, booklet. Um, so I'm going to be working in millimeters. Uh, obviously, if you're creating a DVD cover or a video game box cover or a book cover or whatever, you should have all of the uh, the measurements uh, for your canvas. Okay, so I'm going to select millimeters. Now, the uh, width in millimeters of my um, CD book uh, booklet is 242. So I'm going to put in 242 millimeters here, and the height is 120. Okay, 120 millimeters there. Now, if you click on advanced options, there's a whole bunch of stuff down here. We don't really need to worry about most of this, but a couple of things that you'll probably want to set X resolution and Y resolution should be 300 pixels per inch. Okay, that's the default, but just double check by clicking advanced options and making sure both of these boxes are set to 300. The other thing that you might want to change is um, the default background color. You can either fill it with white um, or you can uh, set it to transparent. Um, it all depends uh, what color you're planning on having the background. Uh, if you're going to be printing, sometimes it's better to uh, to have the uh, the background set to uh, to white. Uh, but you can you can change that. I'm just going to keep mine as white. So when I'm ready, I click OK, and here is my new document. Now you'll have a look. You can see that um, it's too big to fit on the screen at the moment. I've got these scroll bars down here that allow me to uh, to scroll around. Uh, but if you hold down the Control key hold down the control key and then uh, scroll the mouse wheel down it will zoom it out. You can also adjust the level of zoom using uh, the drop down at the bottom of the screen here. Okay so here's my basic image uh, I can um, draw on that so let's, let's select the paintbrush tool here um, I'm gonna change the brush to something a little bit nicer uh, and here we go I can draw on my uh, on my canvas. Uh, now I want to get rid of that. Uh, that was just an example. I'm going to hold down Control Z to undo what I did. Okay, so fairly straightforward creating the um, 
the image. Uh, obviously, if you want to follow along, you can always rewind the video. Now, when you're uh, creating something that's going to be printed out and it needs to be specific sizes, it helps to have guidelines. Uh, and by guidelines, I don't mean some words that are telling you what to do. I mean actual lines drawn on the um, on the canvas so you can see where everything's supposed to be. Now, obviously, I didn't want to actually print out those guidelines, but what we can do is add these lines which sit uh, on the uh, on the screen, but they won't be printed out. Now, the easiest way of doing it, uh, on your ruler on the left-hand side over here, if you move your mouse just inside the ruler and then click and drag across, you'll see it creates a line. And if you have a look down the, uh, the bottom left corner, you can see some numbers going crazy down the bottom there. That tells you how many millimeters you are from the edge of the canvas. OK, now you've got to make sure that this drop down here is set to millimeters. Uh, obviously, you can set it to any sorts of different things, pixels, inches, uh, points, peakers, centimeters, meters. Just make sure it's set to millimeters uh, if you are using millimeters. Uh, otherwise, your, your guide position is going to be off. Now, for my CD booklet, uh, the midpoint is um, 121 millimeters along. So I'm going to click on the, uh, on the ruler here drag across um, and uh, when I see that number at the bottom get to 121 millimeters um, we should be ready to drop it into place. Now you'll notice it's not possible to get it exactly bang on. It's either going to be 120.9 or it's going to be um, 121.16. You don't have to be absolutely bang on. In fact, it would be impossible uh, based on the sizes of your pixels. So just get something as close as you can get. And then when you're ready, let go. And you'll notice you get this um, blue line. <coughs> Um, now that blue line is just there to show you where the uh, the middle are, uh, middle of your uh, canvas is. Okay, so uh, obviously for this, this is going to be my uh, front cover, and this here is going to be my back cover. Okay, excuse the handwriting, um, but you can clearly see they're nicely um, divided up. Let's just get rid of that text. Now you might also want to add a, a horizontal line. If you wanted to do that uh, you can go to the uh, to the top uh, and you can just drag down um, and you can add a horizontal line um, if you want to. Right, But uh, we at the moment don't want to uh, uh, to do that, so I'm going to undo that. Now, don't panic if you uh, if you move your lines across and you drop them in the wrong place. You can always move them. So this tool over here, the double-headed arrow, um, that is the move tool. If you click on that and then select the guide, you'll notice when you move your mouse over it, it turns red. You can then move that guide to wherever you want to be. Now if you want to get rid of the guide altogether you can move it back into the margin and it goes away. <coughs> okay so let's just bring our guide back here. Um, do, 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 do. Where did I say it was supposed to be? 121 mil. Uh, there we go. Okay so we've got our uh, we've got our guide in there. Remember to move it uh, you have to click on this cross-headed arrow thing and you'll know you're about to move the guide because the uh, uh, the guide will turn red. Okay, so let's just have a quick play around with some of these paintbrushes. Um, we have the pencil. Um, now the pencil, you'll notice, um, uh, I'm supposed to say hello, there we go. The pencil, you'll notice, um, it writes sort of like very straight um, very crisp lines. You can change the thickness of the pencil down here. You can see at the moment it's size 51. You might want to reduce that. Just click and drag and you can reduce it down and then you get a thinner line. Okay, there we go. You can make it really thin uh, and you can quickly change the size of it by clicking on the number um, and then you should be able to click uh, anywhere on the um, uh, on the Oh, there we go. If you click on the top half, you can you can drag it along super quick. So you can make it really big, 
like that, uh, or you can make it uh, really small, um, like that, super thin. Okay. Um, if you want to change the color, no problem. You just click on uh, this box here. Uh, the top box is your foreground color. The bottom box is your background color. Okay. So we want to change the foreground color. You'll get a box that pops up like this. Okay. You can uh, choose any shade of the current color. You can change what the current color is by dragging the slider down here. So maybe we want this green here. Now, if you're more familiar with this sort of thing, um, you have a variety of different options for choosing your colors. So maybe you prefer this little color triangle thing, similar to what you see in uh, in Serif Draw Plus. Um, you can you can select that. Uh, there's also this uh, strange. Um, spectrum or you can just directly adjust the sliders or you can use this very odd palette thing that I have never used. Um, so select the color that you want uh, I'm going to select a nice blue color uh, like that and then you are ready uh, to write some more um, stuff if you want to okay um, now let's say for instance you decided actually I want to get rid of that stuff I don't want it on there this tool here is the eraser tool okay uh, if you click on that uh, you can rub out the stuff that you want to rub out now obviously if I carry on rubbing it out like this this is going to take me absolutely ages because just like the uh, pencil uh, you can change the size of your eraser so if I want to rub this out pretty quick I can select a bigger uh, eraser size and I can just rub all of that stuff out. You'll also notice you get sort of like uh, feathered edges there. If you don't like those feathered edges um, you can change the hardness of your brush. Uh, you can make it super hard and then you will not get uh, any frayed edges. If you want more frayed edges, uh, which is useful if you're trying to just sort of like rub around the edges of a, uh, a an image and get a sort of like fading in effect, uh, you can reduce the hardness there. So you can play around with all of these different settings uh, to see uh, what effect it has on your on your brushes. Okay. Now, next thing. Let's have a look at the paintbrush. What's the difference between the pencil and the paintbrush? Well, um, not a great deal. Um, generally speaking, the paintbrush gives you um, softer edges than the uh, than the pencil does. Um, but again, you can you can adjust all of this stuff. Uh, you can uh, let's make it nice and soft, and let's reduce the force as well. And you'll notice that as you if you adjust this force up and down. Uh, you get a, a stronger or a fainter a fainter line. Um, so generally speaking um, the paintbrush is, is good for sort of like soft edges whereas the pencil is good for hard edges. Um, but there is another brush uh, which is the airbrush that's this one here. Uh, now with the airbrush you kind of get um, faded lines and when you paint over the top of them with the airbrush it gradually builds up towards the color that you want. Um, you can uh, set a, a large brush um, and you can uh, reduce the force um, and you can gradually build up color in an area um, and it's very useful for uh, for blending different colors together um, like this because as you paint over it the, the colors sort of like mix together you can see uh, as I paint over with the red we get a mixing of the uh, of the blue and the red there. Okay. Um, so have a play around with the um, the different tools once you've created uh, an image. Uh, set up some guides ready to uh, to have your uh, your amazing masterpiece set to the right size for uh, uh, for print and everything else. And um, when you are ready, uh, move on uh, to the next tutorial video uh, where we will have a look at layers.